Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series, we're taking a look at the HD7 from HTC running Windows Phone 7. This episode, we're going to talk about setting up your HD7 for the first time. So the first thing you're going to do after you take it out of the box and charge it up for a while using the included power adapter is you're going to press the power button along the top. You'll hold it down until it fires up. You'll see the HTC branding, you'll see Windows Phone 7 logo, and maybe some carrier branding if they've decided to put that in there. After you go through the boot up process, you'll see a welcome screen as well. Click on the Get Started button to continue. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to choose the language you want to use with the phone. We're going to choose English and then we'll click Next. Next you'll see a Terms of Use screen. If you're a real glutton for punishment, you can click through to the Terms of Use or the Privacy Statement screen and read through everything that's in there. When you're done, click Accept. On the next screen, you'll get a question as to how you want to set up the phone. Choose the recommended if you just want to go with the flow and choose the recommended typical settings, or if you want to customize this in terms of whether you're using your cell phone data plan or whether you submit feedback automatically to Microsoft to improve the experience in future generations of the phone, then you can use Customize here. If you use custom, make sure the items you want checked are checked, and then click Next. Next, choose your time zone. You can swipe your finger up and down the screen if the one you want to choose isn't actually there on the screen. Tap on the one you want, and then click Next. If you don't have a data connection with your phone already, you might have to set up your date and time manually here. So tap on the date or time, and then a bunch of numbers will come up with the date or time. You can actually tap through and then swipe to the number that you want to use, and then once you're done, click Next. So next it'll ask you for your Windows Live ID if you have one. So if you already have something like Hotmail, or if you have something like Windows Live Mail, if you have MSN Messenger, or Windows Live Messenger, or if you have Xbox Live, all of these would use a Windows ID. If you don't already have a Windows Live ID, you can get one right here by clicking the Create One option here on the screen, or you can choose to skip this altogether and set it up at a later time. Once you enter in your information here, it'll actually custom configure a few things. So it'll bring in all your mail contacts from your Windows Mail service. It'll actually allow all of your messenger contacts to be imported into the phone automatically. And then it'll actually allow you to purchase things from the marketplace or from Xbox Live if you have those set up for purchasing. We're going to tap on sign in because we already have a Windows Live ID and we want to import all of our messenger contacts and our email settings automatically so we don't have to do this later on. When you tap on one of the fields to enter information, your on-screen keyboard will appear and you can tap in information using the QWERTY style keyboard right on your screen. If your username or password has characters that don't appear on this QWERTY keyboard that you see on the screen here, you can get more characters by tapping on the key that says ampersand 123. Then if you need even more characters that don't appear on this screen, you can tap on the arrow that points to the right. Once you've entered in all your information, click on sign in and it'll sign you in so long as you have a data connection. If you don't have a data connection just yet and you're going to sign up for that later on, you'll have to configure your Wi-Fi before this will work. So you can do this at a later time. After that you're done, click on the button that says done and it'll take you to the Windows Phone 7 home screen and then you can actually start to use it or you can set up some other things if you like. One of the things we're going to set up first before we go any further is Wi-Fi because we want to actually use our phone on Wi-Fi networks when we are in range to save on our data plan. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look in the top right corner of the screen and we're going to click on the arrow that points to the right. Then we'll have a list of applications that we can scroll through with our finger and we'll go down to the bottom and click on settings. We're going to tap on the option that says Wi-Fi then we're going to scroll down through the list of Wi-Fi access points that we see in the neighborhood until we get to the one we want. We're going to click on Butterscotch. Then we're going to enter in the password that we have for Butterscotch. Once we've entered in the password we're going to tap done and then it'll connect us to our Wi-Fi network right here in the studio. Then once you're done configuring all this, you can tap on the Windows Start button at the bottom of the screen, and that'll take you back to your main home screen on the HD7. For more information on other ways of using the HD7, don't forget to check out the other parts in this series, and we'll have the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at butterscotch.com.